Hey everybody, welcome to BI land. Sometimes you need to filter the elements of your report using a specific measure that is written only for filtering. Let's see this together with two examples. Here I have a model with oil production for different years and different countries. Let's look at our model. I have a statistics of oil as my fact table and then I have different dimension tables like dimension of year and dimension of country so that I can see my oil production for different countries and regions for different years. Our ultimate goal is to be able to see the oil production for different years but only see in our visual the list of countries where the oil production was bigger than a specific number, let's say threshold. We are going to choose this number, this threshold, in our slicer. Let's say I don't know, I want to see only countries where the oil production was more than 1000 kilobarrels per day. That's where we use our filter measure. We will use another filter measure to see only list of years according to the current year. Let's say only between 5 years ago and 50 years ago. It means that in my slicer, which is the year where I choose the year, I only see the years that are between 5 years ago and 50 years ago. Actually, let's start with filter measure that we are going to apply on our year slicer. I'm going to bring year year dimension here. Let's make it slicer, drop down, and we have it. So year starts from 1965 up to 2020 something. What we want is to only show years from five years ago and 50 years ago. Probably data before 50 years ago or between today and five years ago is not great enough, right? Different reasons. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a measure. And the logic is going to be if the years, the values for the year are between five years ago and 50 years ago or not, right? And I'm going to put this measure as a filter in my filter pane to be able to select only years that are in the range that I'm putting in my measure, right? Let's call this filter year. And then I'm going to say if, because I want to create a logic, if values of my year column in my year dimension, if values are less than five years ago, to be able to calculate five years ago, I need to calculate current year. To be able to calculate current year, I need to know today's date. For knowing today's date, I need to use today function. Then I can calculate with year function the year of the today's date, right? So I'm going to write year function to get year of the date, which is today's date. And then simply say minus five. So this part here, it gives me five years ago. And the second condition is going to be the same values of your column in my dimension, your dimension. I want them to be bigger than your function again, today function again, minus 50, right? So if these two conditions are met, I want, let's say number one, right? Else number zero. So this measure is going to give us either number one, when my years are between 50 years ago and five years ago, and zero if it's not in this range, right? Hit enter. And now I'm going to bring this measure here on the filter pane for this visual, right? So I'm going to select this filter year is one. One, it means that it meets our conditions, right? Apply filter. And now I'm going to see only from year 74 and 2017. So it's filtering, it's showing me only the years between these years, right? But note that Power BI only accepts measures as filter only at the single visual level. So I cannot bring this measure filter measure here on the page level or on the report level, of course. If I try to bring filter year on page level, it wouldn't work and the same for all pages. So you need to be very careful about this because it means that this filter is only working on this visual. 
if you have an indicator or a visual, let's say, for example, the oil production, if you haven't selected any year in this slicer, then the production is for all years in your fact table. It won't be between five years ago and 50 years ago. So be careful about this. We have only filtered our slicer, so only those years be visible to the users, knowing that in any case, the user is going to select one or few years on the slicer. Selecting no year would not mean that it is the total oil production between 1974 to 2017, the range that we have filtered on our slicer, but it will be for all of the years in the fact table. So pay attention to this trap. So now let's bring our oil production. So I have an oil production here. I'm going to choose a year, let's say 2009. This is my oil production, and I'm going to put this as a table, and I'm going to bring country here. Basically, now I have for different countries the oil production. Don't worry about the numbers. These are kilobarrels per day, but we don't care about the numbers and the units. So if I don't choose any year, it would show me all of the production for all of the years, which wouldn't make really sense, but it also means that either I have this filter or no, this number is not gonna change, which means that this number was number that was between 1965 and 2022, right? It only applies on the level of the visual, right? So be careful about that. This is very important and can be a trap for misfunctioning of your report so now let's say we were 2009 and i have this production for the country and i see only in my calendar the years from 1974 so i need to select the year years that i have for the selection i have between 50 years ago and five years ago okay now let's go for the second filter measure our second filter measure is going to be threshold of the production. I want here a slicer showing the thresholds. So for that, I need to have a table. So let's go and create a table. In the table tool, let's say new table. Let's call this param thresholds. There are different ways to create the values, but I'm just gonna use generate series. So I'm going to start with, let's say 500 until 10,000 and with 500 increment. This is our table. This value here, we can call threshold again. Now I'm going to bring this threshold here as a slicer and then also drop down. Okay, now I want to be able to select the threshold, let's say 500 or 1000, and see only the countries that have the oil production more than 1000, right? For that, I'm going to use, of course, there are other ways for doing that. We have seen already that we can do this inside the measure of the oil production, but for this video, we are going to use filter measure. So I'm going to create a measure, new measure, and this is the measure that I'm going to only use for filtering my visuals. I will not use this measure elsewhere, right? When you're naming your measures, it's better to name in a way that you later know where you're going to use this measure. So filter measure, I'm going to call this filter threshold. Oil production, right? I'm going to say Again, it's a logic, so I'm going to start with if. If my oil production, the measure that I already have, and I recommend you watching my other videos where also I use oil production for different analysis, etc. So if the oil production is bigger than selected value of my threshold, right, that is in my slicer, then in that case, I want to bring one else zero. So this function is going to bring me one or zero, right? One, when the oil production is bigger than threshold that I have chosen, zero, if it's not the case, right? So hit enter, 
And as I said, we can only use filter measures on visual level. So you need to be really careful. If you have more than one visual here on the screen, you need to apply for each visual and be careful about the behavior of your report. You better check the traps that you can have with the filter measure as one that I just said above the filter measure on the year dimension. Let's bring our filter measure this time on this visual filter threshold and I'm going to say is one. So I'm just going to apply this. Now I only see the countries that have threshold of the production that is more than 1000, right? If I choose 1500 lesser countries, 2000, 2500. Probably our manager is only interested in seeing the values that are after 2,500 kilo barrels per day, right? And if I choose another year, let's say 1995, then I have other numbers. So in a way, it's very really dynamic. I can choose my threshold, I can choose different years, or if there was other filters, I can apply them as well. So this is really interesting and I assure you that you will need this kind of filtering filters using measure in your work as a data analyst. Make sure that you understand the traps of this measure. Like the example I said above the year, I invite you to have a look and look for the potential traps that this kind of filtering measures that you can have on this one also. That's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like this video and don't hesitate to put comments. As always, thank you very much. Please subscribe to my channel for the coming videos. Until then, take care. See you.